In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a cinematic title animation in HitFilm Express 12. Alright, let's begin by selecting the text tool in the viewer panel and dragging to create a text box. Now just type your text. Next, I'm going to use this little slider down here to zoom into my clip on the timeline. Then use the selection tool in the editor to drag the end of your text clip to extend its duration to around 7 seconds. Make sure your text is selected and go over to the text tab. First, I'm going to increase my font size to 150. I'm going to use the Lato font, which a lot of people use in professional situations. You can download it for free at latofonts.com. I'm also going to increase the horizontal spacing to 1.2 so my letters have more space between them. Before we continue, use the selection tool in the viewer to center your text in the frame. Okay, now let's head over to the Controls tab and expand the Transform settings. Click this little button next to the pin to open up a mini version of your timeline. Make sure you drag the end of the panel so that you can see all the different settings and their values as well as the blue bar on the mini timeline. Then I'm going to drag the slider down here to zoom into this blue bar which represents my text clip. Position your time marker at the start of the text clip and click the circle next to Opacity to create a starting keyframe. Then change the opacity's value to 0. Move the time marker 2 seconds into your clip. Increase the opacity to 100 to create a second keyframe. Move the time marker 4 seconds into your clip. Click this little circle between the two arrows to create a keyframe at the opacity's current value. Then move the time marker to the 6 second mark. Change the opacity to 0 to create a final keyframe. Okay, now our text fades in and then back out. To make it look a little smoother, I'm just going to drag to select all my keyframes and click the Convert Selected Keyframes to Smooth button. Okay, and now our fade looks a lot smoother. Alright, now let's animate the scale so our text grows a bit. Position the time marker at the start of your text clip. Click the circle next to scale to create a starting keyframe. Move the time marker to the 6 second mark on your text clip. Increase the scale to 120 to create an ending keyframe. Okay, and now when I play this back, my text slowly grows. Alright, next let's go over to the effects panel and type blur into the search box. Drag the regular blur effect onto your text clip. Over in the controls tab for your text clip, expand the blur settings. Position the time marker at the start of your text clip. Click the circle next to radius to create a starting keyframe. Change the radius to around 20 to give our text a good amount of blur. Move the time marker to the 2 second mark in your clip. Change the radius to 0 to create a second keyframe. Then move the time marker to the 4 second mark in your clip. Click this little circle between the two arrows to create a keyframe at the radius's current value. Finally, move the time marker to the 6 second mark and increase the radius back to 20 to create a fourth and final keyframe. Now our text blurs in and out. Okay, and that's it for creating cinematic text in HitFilm. Thanks for watching and see you next time.